Round two. Let's see if this works. I don't see no green flashy now. We'll just wait for y'all to get back. Uh -uh. No, no ma'am, no ham, no bacon. Get down. I'm back. I don't see no more green flashy stuff. It's really weird to do my makeup in here. I'm going to wait for everybody to get back on and say we, we had a miss mouth. It's starting to do the green flashy thing again. We might just have to deal with it, y'all. I don't know if I need to turn off my phone. Uh, has anybody ever had this problem? It's so weird. <laughs> I need to get a towel anyway. I don't know if the green flashy thing is going to go off or not. I'm just going to go roll with it. I might need to turn my phone off and turn it back on, but we'll see. I don't know. It's just shocking me. I look like an Amish woman. <laughs> I'm comfortable, okay? Bradley, screw you. No. Shouldn't you be working right now? A beautiful almost woman. I'll see what you did there. Well, hopefully the green flashy thing goes off. Or do y'all think I should try again? Because this is kind of annoying. It looks like it's fading. It could be a ghost. It could be like... What's those shows where they can detect like ghost? Ghost hunters? Now I'm scared. Okay. Whatever. So, my first top 10, or my, my favorite top 10 products is, first off, first of all, which I just moisturized with, the Calendula Face Cream. All of the Calendula products, I'm not even going to go into detail with every single one, but I love them all and I recommend them to everybody. I don't care what type of skin you have, I really think this is beneficial to everybody. Every, all of the skincare line. Or the, all of the calendula. Okay. Secondly, the Bi-Faced Makeup Remover. This is literally a dupe for the Lancome one. If you've ever heard of that or have used that. it's And it's like triple times the price of this. Works just as good if not better because this doesn't burn my eyes. And Lancome probably has a lot more ing worse ingredients in it than this does. So, this takes off waterproof mascara, eyeliner, your eyebrow products, eyeshadow, glitter, and your matte lips. Um, it takes it off really good. You just squirt it on a cotton round, remove everything, and it is gone. So, that's my top two that I just cannot live without as far as skincare wise. I will, I'm, and I just bought another bottle of this because I'm about out. Now, um, we'll move on. So, I have a primer I've already put on. This is going to minimize your pores. And this is going to drive me insane. Let me know if that's, like, really bothering y'all. The, the green flashy. Now. What was I going to say? Oh, let me just go ahead and spray my face for a second. This is, like, the refreshing and fixing spray. I'll spray my face before I put my makeup on, especially if I haven't just freshly cleansed my skin. Um, I will spray my face so that it's kind of like refreshed and dewy kind of. I'm going to try to sit these products to the side as I go. Um, maybe it's gone away now. No. What? I think it's bothering you more than us. It's distracting me. Okay, we'll just block it out. Um, now. Where was I? Let's do eyebrows. This is uh, one of my other favorite products. By Pharmacy is the eyebrow pencil. It's 1090. It's three shades. It's the shade 02. 
it's like a pomade and a pencil. I've got my notes so I won't forget everything. And what I like about it is it sticks to my brows really well, but it also mm -hmm. helps create the brows that I don't have without making it look like fake. Like a pomade sometimes can. It's a little too much. And I love the fact that you don't have to be very heavy-handed with this. It goes on very... It's like a waxy formula, and it just glides on super easy. And I'm able to do my brows, like, super fast. Uh, I used to spend a whole lot of time doing my eyebrows and doing all the um, extra carving them out and... Um, making them just really, really precise and perfect. And so I've been trying to do them a little more natural. And just so, this is just, I can just work with it so fast. Like, look how fast already. It's like, boom. So it is a diff, it is kind of like weird to work with if you aren't used to it. And a lot of people are a lot heavier handed then you need to be with it. So you just kind of like, the first time I used it, I was like, eh. And then after about three or four times, I was like, okay. I get the hang of it now. I like it. And you don't even have to settle, set them with anything, really. It just sets on its own. But I do recommend you having a spoolie brush so that you could brush through them. My cat's sitting up here with me. She's staring. There's another cat that just ran by and she is over here like, mm, what was that? Calm down, killer. I feel like it's not bright in here anymore. I had the perfect light and seconds after I sat down, it goes away. Just my luck. Okay. I'm not even going to do anything else to my brows to make them any more f fancier. We're just going to pretty much follow it along with the natural shape. I just kind of build them up so they're a little bit thicker. I am going to take some of this. Is it's a uh, the pro oh, pro to fit eyeshadow primer. So a lot of girls use this to cover blemishes on their face. Uh, also, though, it's great for a lid primer. But I'm gonna use it to kind of like carve my brows and to kind of cover up those unwanted hairs that's popping through. And then we'll go ahead and blend it on down on the lid so we have a nice primed lid. It's going to cover up some of that discoloration on my eyelids. And it's going to just create a nice little smooth canvas there for us so our eyeshadows stick to it. And gonna blend it out with a sponge you can also use this uh, use concealer to do this but I wanted to use some eyeshadow primer I'm just taking a flat brush and going over it Like so. Don't have to be perfect and be messy. This is a good way to make sure your eyebrows are even as well. Because this, you could like kind of draw a line across here to make sure they line up with each other like that. Cash is over here watching um, Old Guard. If y'all haven't seen it on Netflix, it's really good. It's got, um, what's that actress's name, Cash? 
She plays a monster. She's real pretty. I have some ideas too uh, that I'm going to do more Christmas looks. Y'all have to stay tuned whenever I have the, um, I gotta have, I gotta be in like a certain mood when I want to do, don't be judging my tree back there. <laughs> oh, speaking of while I'm thinking of, see, I'm really squirrely. Listen, you always make carving the brows out so easy and never seems to work right on my face. I use primer and concealer, but I've never carved since I never, it never seems to look right. right. Yeah, practice, practice is all I can say. And I, and I do the top a lot too, but um, this whole natural look, I feel like I like that. I love, love your Christmas lights makeup. Thanks, girl. So I really wanted to add a little extra, extra pop to that. Christmas look, but um, I ran out of motivation, I guess, which I watched a video today and I posted it on my Facebook feed. Y'all really should watch it about, it's kind of like when you get stuck in your own mind and you, you, you think in your mind, okay, I need to do this right now or I need to do this today, but then mm -hmm. if you don't do it within that first five minutes your brain will literally take over and control five seconds i'm sorry cash is over here like five seconds he remember he was listening to it too then you would have to watch it to understand but i'm telling you i guarantee every single person can re can relate to the, that whole thing and under like it will it will be so helpful if you can apply that to your life it will make such a difference in how successful you are and just in general, like with everything, everyday life. So, um, I'm going to try to start doing that whenever I think of something in my mind. Let's say for an instance, man, I really need to do a live today. Five, four, three, two, one. If you don't, if you don't get your ass up like right then and start getting yourself prepared to do that live, like, most of the time, it's just, your brain is just going to convince you and uh, you don't have to do it today. You know what I mean? Like, that's just an example. There's so many other things. But even like in the morning when you wake up, your alarm goes off. Yeah, it happens to me too every single day with everything. Like, we are such procrastinators. And I know I'm off topic right now, but I'm telling you, go watch that video. It's on my Facebook I don't even remember the name of it, but you'll see it. It's the first thing that you should see that pops up after my live, of course. But, um, yeah. I think that's all I have. But, um, back to makeup. Let's see. Okay, so we did our brows. We carved them out a little bit. Put some primer on my lids. Let's do... We're going to use Jack on Hill's Morphe palette today. We're going to bring it back old school. No, it ain't really old school, but you know. I'm going to do my eyeshadow first. I don't have scissors to cut this. So, I'm just going to put this tape right here. This is going to help you get that really nice sharp edge there. This is great for beginners if they're learning how to do... Um, if they need some practice doing um, winged eyeliner. So, these are just some cheap little elves. Um, line and defy eye tape. It's just better for your skin than my regular scotch tape, which I used to use. Um, I just want to use the Jaclyn Hill palette today. Why not? This is the older one. And it's always a goodie. It's Morphe. Lots of colors here to choose from. Um, I'm just going to go straight in. Cash, will you please get me a paper towel? Please, sir. My cat is walking around behind my camera. And if you knock it over, we're going to fight. 
Thank you. So most of my brushes have not been clean, so I'm just like taking a paper towel and kind of wiping over it. I'm gonna watch it. I'll okay. Love love I'll, sure. You need to watch it. I promise you, you'll love it. And a uh, uh, couple other videos. Oh my god, this tape is like messing with my eye bags. I like feel puffy eyed today. I feel tired. Like I don't know if I. I couldn't go to sleep last night. Like, I was having, like, weird dreams. But, um, I finally got, went to sleep. But, I don't know. It was it was just, I was up so late. But, I, I, I slept till, like, nine. Yeah, it was nine because you woke me up at nine. Oh, my God. It's poking me in the eyeball. Well, whatever. So, I kind of wanted to go with these, like, burgundy kind of deeper tones over here. And the reddish. And I'm going to do like some gold. I kind of have an idea. Let's just pick um, a good transition shade. Maybe this one. We'll just go with that. I don't even know what shade that is. Me, M, E, M, F, E, O. I think that's where I, which one I'm picking. It's like the names of them are on the back. And not... I don't have the best lighting over here. I'm all in. I'm so like out of my normal. Like I'll get anxiety because I'm not in my normal habitat. Habitat really. <laughs> Listen, if you're gonna be back there, um, you're the one that came in here with your negative comments. You're the one that came in. Little Oh, hell no. Who pays rent? <laughs> so? <laughs> get back to your vanity. You do what? Do your homework. I am. Don't make me beat you on here. DSS at my door in about five minutes. Keep on. I'm just kidding you. I don't, think of it. I don't beat my children. I still use tape. I haven't found <laughs> a better version. I don't know. I just look. I don't, I've never seen this again. I, I, I've, I was at Target or Walmart and it was a clearance rack aisle or something. And um, they were only like 79 cents for these. I got like three or four packs and they have lasted me forever because I don't use them every day. So, okay, what I'm doing is blending back and forth, kind of like in a windshield wiper motion between my actual crease and my brow bone, just to create a transition shade, okay? And then, and I'm bringing it all the way out to here. Now we're gonna go in with a darker, let's just go ahead and just jump into like a, this burgundy color right here. I think it's called Heelster, if I'm looking at it right. And I'm just gonna dab it in. I'm not even gonna dust off any product. We're just gonna dab it in. Tape comes in handy here because you ain't gotta worry about creating like a perfect shape. That they're at Target. Okay, that's probably where I got it from. Oh god, my cat. And I'm just gonna kind of like start blending it. I'll dab it in, and then I'll just start blending it out. When you do your eyeshadow, you don't want it. To, you don't want to leave the edges like real harsh, um, especially in this area. You really want to make sure that's blended out. And we'll go back and blend it some more in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and dab on the other side. Stamp it in. We're going to get the most pigment. Yeah, and I wouldn't even know what section they would be in, honestly. I 
haven't done um, this look in a long time. I used to wear like reds and burgundies all the time. And I've just kind of went away from it for a while. Which is, they're actually still really popular. I know for a while they were like, really, it was like really, this look was really in. But I haven't seen it a whole lot lately. But I know it's still in. It's just, there's so many trends, I can't keep up with it. I just do whatever I want. I do whatever I want. I don't really care what's cool or not. I do what I think looks good. Whatever mood I'm in, Me whatever too. whatever I'm wearing that day. Now, I'm just going to bring it in. This is like festive colors, too. We'll bring it in just a little bit over here. No product on the brush. Really just what's left. I'm going to tell y'all. I was Me and Bradley, for some reason, we were just like flipping through channels trying to find something to watch. The other day, and we come across Bob Ross. We haven't watched that in so long. We were, he, and we were both talking about him the other day. Like, we, when we were younger, I used to, like, be mesmerized by him. Like, and you know how you had the big box TVs that sat on the floor? I would sit in the floor cross-legged, like, face-to-face -face, like I am with you, and watch Bob Ross. And I remember being just so mesmerized by his voice and, like, just the way he was, like, painting Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I don't know what made me think of that. I think it's just because I was watching myself <laughs> blend this out. I'm like, Bob Ross over here. Pretty little trees. Happy little trees. Everything was happy. Was ha some happy little trees. Oh, I didn't finish telling you what I was saying about my, my Christmas look. Okay, so I was going to vamp it up, guys. And get a little more gory with it. With what I did. With, um... And I was going to make it look like I had slits in my neck and the I was going to use actual Christmas lights and wrap it around and turn them on. But I didn't have an extra Christmas lights to go on to use. I forgot to get some. And um, I thought that was going to, that would be a cool idea to have it look like it was gouged in my neck. I know that sounds horrific, but... Um, I just thought it would be cool to do that. I still might do that. And then I also still want to take, um, you remember how I did the apple with the Snow White? If you haven't seen that one, I had an apple in my eye. Um, excuse me, ma'am. This cat is crawling up here all over my dang um, set up here, all over the eyeshadow palette. And, um,. But I want to do a Christmas ball in my eye and make it look like it's stuck in there. So, I need some motivation. First, so I have five seconds. As soon as I think I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Or my brain will just make it go away. Okay. You use that term every time. I am. Same you with your procrastinating doing your schoolwork. Well, if you don't do it now, you got five seconds. You ain't gonna do it. <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. Got five minutes. <laughs> um. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do right now. I think I need some darker on the outer corner. I'm gonna actually. Let's do this one right here. When I want some, I want a deeper top burgundy brownish color. I'm just gonna put it on the outer part of the eye here. We're gonna deepen that up. And just keep it in that little general area there. I have like a little precise brush like that. See the difference between with it and without it, how it just really just amps it up. Pretty little trees. 
what's that thing called, Cash? A-S-M, what is it? A-S-M-R? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, A-S-M-R. I think that's what it is. A-S-M-R's. I don't think that I would. I don't think I have a voice for that. I think it's kind of annoying, honestly. Yeah, it is. There's this guy on TikTok that does it. He's or even like the sounds of like oh like touching things or whatever they do like I think that's weird. Okay, so we just deepen it up a little bit, and let's blend out that outer edge, the blending brush a little more. Okay, here's where it's about to get crazy because. What do you do? Your makeup. Well, I wanted to do kind of a cut crease, but I'm not gonna actually do a cut crease. I'm gonna use this gold um, gel liner stuff, and we're gonna. If I can get up here, I feel like my chair is like low. Brushes all around. It's about to go down. Well, she got Let's see. I'm just gonna kind of go on the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and look up so it imprints where I want to go. And we're going to use it as an actual shadow all over the lid here. Oh, bless you. Rona, is that you? So I was, um, one of our uplines, which is actually, is, her name is Christina Hernandez, if you don't know who that is. She is the top number one director in our company in the whole United States. And I was watching her live the other day and she recommended in the morning Instead of drinking coffee first thing, because we're hot, dehydrate in our bodies, and it's good for your skin. Um, I don't know why these ingredients is helpful. I forgot what she said, but either do warm water or cold water. Um, get some lemon, squirt a lemon in there. Water. I did ice water today, but um, actually, she had hot water, and I did I did hot water yesterday and the day before. I did cold water this morning. But um, what that lemon juice? Lemon something? water, some honey, and cinnamon. Now the honey didn't want to melt very well with the cold water, so I don't know how to do that, but um. This is the only thing that I'm going to have trouble figuring out is how to get this blended. Maybe while it's still wet, I'm going to take a brush. This cat is in my way. And try to blend it out. I don't know. Yeah, it'll blend. And I have never done this method before with these. I have no, It's typically uh, supposed to be used as an actual liner. But I was trying it out to see how it worked as an actual... I'm picking up some of that burgundy. I'm trying to blend it in. I'm starting to itch my eyes. I don't know. 
if it's gonna work. It looks kind of smudgy. didn't do what I wanted it to do. Looks a little patchy. I'm gonna try going over it with a like this gold shadow right here. This I'm picking up this gold right here. Yeah, it's making my eyelids look kind of crummy. Mmm, that wasn't a good idea, was it? I really can't go back now. Well, shoot! Let me see what Jackie said. This is mesmerizing. I need to come watch your makeup when I'm stressed. <laughs> oh my god. Let me know when you're stressed out, girl, and I'll just start. I'll, I'll record myself. I'll go live and let you watch me. No. I don't see how mesmerized. Uh, I don't know what to do. Fix this. Because I'm not happy with it. These do really good with just a liner. I guess I'll just keep on, keep on keeping on. Maybe I'll try blending it more as while it's. Um more wet. Shut up, Kaj. I know you're going to say that. Hmm. But yeah, y'all need to, um, if you're having some issues with your skin not looking very hydrated, you do, you probably need to drink more water, but try drinking a cup of, it's before you go to bed and, at, and in the morning when you wake up, try drinking a cup of warm water or hot water with lemon, cinnamon, and what is it? Lemon, cinnamon, and um, honey. And then, but I'm drinking it cold today. And it's supposed to give you a lot more energy, too. And it takes down your uh, puffiness. That's what it was. Okay. While that's still wet, let's kind of... I mean, it doesn't look too bad. These are just not made for that. This one did a little better. What do y'all think? This tape is way too close to my eyes. It's starting to itch. Picking up a little more of that red. Or burgundy, whatever it is. Blending it together so it's not just like a line here. You want it to blend together. And flow. It's not that bad. What do y'all think? It's just, for some reason, this one looks more chunky. I don't know what I did wrong. But I will probably, from here on out, use those only for a liner. I'm just kind of buffing out this edge. I don't want it harsh. I want it to really blend. Now let's go ahead and do, I'm not, let's see. Well, yeah, this is also one of my top 10 favorites. It's the ink liners. They're so good. $16.90 is the price. Let's go ahead and do our wing. And it's just gonna like, be so much easier to do this with this tape.
Just who chunky y'all making my eyelids look like they're a hundred years old in the desert. They're like so dry. Let's go ahead and take this off because that's killing me. See that nice little pretty sharp line there? Let me drink my cinnamon lemon honey water. <laughs> I'm itching. Y'all ever get red right here? Like when you get when you start itching or get hot or anxious? I'm not anxious though. I think I'm just. Let's do the other eye real fast. Let me know if y'all can see or not see. Oh my god. That never happened right here. This is happening because of that gold. I never like to stretch my eyelid. We might have to thicken this out of it. I don't even care. I get the idea. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see the end of it. Now we're gonna see how this is like really harsh here. We're going to try to blend that. And if you like that look, you could leave it, but I don't. And once I get my foundation stuff on, it won't look so harsh either. <laughs> Okay, we're going to move on. We'll go ahead and do the mascara. <sighs> mascara is the optimal. Okay, I love all of our mascaras, but this is in my top 10 too. This is the optimal style. It's all in one. You're getting length, volume, and curl, plus it's conditioning your lashes, and it actually helps with eyelash growth. Um, it's, I just, for... Overall, I just love this mascara. This is my go-to. This is what I, I grab on the daily when, when I'm just doing a normal routine. This is just, I love all the mascaras, but I, I really just find myself grabbing for this one more than any of the other ones. And it's just my preference. I love how it lifts them up. I love how it separates them. I love how the wand is real bulky. Um, and I'm bad for poking myself in the eye, but with this wand, it's le less likely that I, that I will. Um, and it's good for the bottom lashes. And it reminds me a lot of the way that it performs. It reminds me of like the Benefit Roller Lash. And that was my favorite 
mascara and it's $24 or $23 and um this is only $10.90 I believe but with my discount it's half that so I think I'm right um this look would prob probably look better with lashes but you see how it just like lifts them up I don't know and just I love it so much and it's real like pretty natural it's not like I don't look like I have spider legs on my on my eyes so can you see the difference between one eye to the other and that's pretty much one coat Have y'all seen that movie, Old Do uh, What is it, Old Guard? That's what Cash is watching, and it's so good. I've already watched it, but. He's doing a schoolwork, too, at the same time. He takes mini breaks. Mini. <laughs> He'll do one assignment and then he'll take a break. <laughs> it's a lot though. Um, right now his school is shut down. Because they had a big corona outbreak um, at Hildebrand. And so he is on virtual learning until after Christmas. And they'll decide what to do. And he has, now he's back to like it was in the beginning where you have Zoom meetings. That's what he's doing. He just had his Zoom meeting earlier. So, there's that. Optimal style. Good movie for sure. Yep. Haley, you have seen it. Thank you, Jackie. I didn't see that comment. Okay. Now for the fun part. VFX Pro Camera Ready Foundation. This is in my top ten as well. Love it, love it, love it. Y'all have heard me talk about it. If anyone has tried it, they fall in love with it. I just had quite a bit of girls order this, my last bulk order, and they've all messaged me and told me that they, <clears throat> that they really like it. It's just such a good foundation for any skin type. It lasts all day. It doesn't, it doesn't wear off. Um... It's not cakey, it's not heavy, it's full coverage, it's affordable, it's only $24.90 full retail price. Cash, if you say one more comment, you're going in your room. I like to blend it out with a sponge. I'll use a brush sometimes, but this is my favorite way. This is a shade 01. I don't know if I said that or not. Always blend it down your neck. I know, Haley. I'm so glad that you like it. I just wish that we had a different color for you. Or it wasn't dark too dark for you. When Haley ordered it, she had a tan. And uh, we kind of misjudged what shade she needed. But, um, so it would be good for her. For winter, but probably needs the Oh, two, four. I mean, it would probably be good for summer, but um, O2 for winter. This is O1 that I'm wearing, so you can kind of judge. This is this is more of a yellow undertone. If you're more on the pinker side, 
And then I would probably go with the 04. I know it kind of looks a little a little yellow at first until I get it all blended and plus I have a red neck right now. I don't know why. So it doesn't take much. It's got a faux it's 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 a uh, good for like camera ready. It's feel it's got a it filters your and prevents like any flashback and it just makes your skin look like it's airbrushed. It's really pretty. Let me get a wipe to wipe my lips off now. I look a little crazy right now. Oh yeah, the pigment stuff. Thank you, girl. What? But I gotta read what Christina said. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. We know what you were doing, girl. It's my cat. It wants some sex. <laughs> oh. Did I, did you, it's the VFX is what foundation I'm using in case you didn't catch that. So now, let's do concealer. This is the O3 liquid concealer. So I found out a trick for anyone that doesn't, if you've already ordered this before you use this and you want to, and you can't, and you're about empty and you can't get enough out, <laughs> then um, there's a little plastic piece on the top and I just popped it out. I use like tweezers to kind of pry it out. Now I can get way down in there, but it's not going to have that piece to kind of clean off your concealer but I like that because it helps me pick more pick up more product the only thing about this concealer that I don't like is that it's not big enough and you do go through it kind of well actually no I don't go through it a lot but I feel like I'm having to dip into it several times to to get what I need out um but it's just small, like in comparison, this is like the liquid lipsticks. So I feel like it should be the size of that, but with direct sales, they probably do that for a reason so that you'll repurchase. Um, but as affordable as it is, I'm not going to complain. And as good as it, it, it performs, it's not like a super thick, heavy concealer. So I love it because... It doesn't look dry under my eyes and I know that's an issue for a lot of girls um, you know they have like a dry under eye or um, their concealer gets cakey and this doesn't do that it's really good the O3 is what I would recommend for if you are close to my skin because um, if you like that really bright under eye, you want it to be a lot lighter than your foundation. That's just my preference. I like to brighten up underneath. It just gives this look of like you're awake. It took away those puffy, that puffy look I had going on. I look now like I'm well rested. And it just really brings out like when you highlight and contour. This is like the highlight part of it. I kind of slender down my nose. And it just blends out so nicely. Now, let's set it with a powder. Um, 
We do have a transparent powder, which is phenomenal, but it's a compact. And today I was just in a mood for a loose powder. So I'm using this Marc Jacobs um, Finish Line Coconut Powder. And I just take this dry real techniques like little fuzzy sponge and i'm just going to it's kind of weird how it comes out but um use this today and i'm just going to go over the areas that i place the concealer nothing crazy to put that on the next list yes ma'am you need to try, especially, it. everything works well together too, like, your foundation, you're, you're going to love it even more with the concealer, and you're going to love your complexion, period. If you, if you combine the, the, if you combine the primer with the foundation, and the concealer, and the face powder, these four items right here. I'm telling you, they just like work so well together, and um, I'm normally not all of like before I was. I've always used mix and a match things like with different. Um, I'm just gonna kind of dust that off. Mix mat mixed and match products brands wise, whatever I liked. But I'm telling you, these work so good together. Both either either primer and. Um, the foundation concealer and that face perfecting powder which i'm about to use it just makes my skin look so freaking good so this is the face perfecting powder it has a shade it's the uh shade 03 i think it's called Nat neutral medium neutral and now this is just going to go all over it's going to give me a little more coverage it is going to blend everything in together and just make the skin well I mean, it smells really good look like it is really poreless and smooth and like just I don't know like it just creates a filter with the combination of the four products so I do encourage you all if you are interested in trying at least the first the first thing the first four things I would get would if you want a really pretty nice full coverage um, foundation and complexion like instead of just getting the foundation I would I would really really highly recommend like all four of those together because it's gonna give you the look that you're wanting and drink your water because and take care of your skin because that's you know makeup could only go so far you have to be healthy and from the inside out because you can't just like cover up everything if you've got you know some skin skin issues makeup isn't going to fix that if that makes sense it's going to help but taking care of your body and your health and and hydrating your yourself and even eating healthier foods I mean I'm bad for just eating a lot of junk and a lot of fatty foods and I notice when I do do diets and I try to like eat healthier especially getting a lot of greens in your in your uh, routine or whatever then you I notice a difference in the way I feel and the way my skin looks so um what am I doing now? I guess we need to... Let's bronze. So, this is also my top 10. The Suncrest Bronzer. Let me see what I wrote on here. Oh, yeah. So, just so you know, this face perfecting powder is $12.90. And... The eyebrow pencil that I used is $10.90. And the foundation is $24.90. The ink liner is $16.90. And this bronzer I'm about to use is $19.90. But of course I get it for like 10 bucks. This will probably last me my entire life because it's the size of like almost half my face. Um, and I don't use 
you don't have to, you know, you're not using a whole lot of it. So this is going to give me a nice, beautiful bronzed look. And placing it ba mainly like a shape of a C right here and just don't go past that center part of your ear. You want to keep it in this general area up. And this is going to... Um, See how I look a little washed out right now? This is really going to warm up my skin and give me some color. And it's actually going to actually it's actually going to also help to sculpt my face as well, um, like you would use contour. But bronzer and contour are two totally different things. But this is a replacement if you don't want to do all the contour stuff. You can just use. A warm tone bronzer and I love this because it's not I don't it doesn't make you look orange and it doesn't make you look you look muddy um, it's just a perfect bronzer shade I really can't explain it um I even I like it even better than the benefits Hula bronzer and I'm putting it on here to try to cover up some of the fat. I've gained weight, guys. It's what happens when you get into a relationship and you're happy and content and you don't have to stress over everything because, and also corona, quarantine, and all that has also done it to me, too. I'm lazy, guys. I do not exercise like I should. But I also, I just love to cook and I love to eat. So, the combination of all that, have gained weight. But I'm not mad at it. I mean, I'm actually okay. I've always been, like, too skinny growing up and was picked on for that. So, now that I have some meat on my bones, like, I'm not mad at it. I feel, I feel happy about it and I'm comfortable. But, you know, there's those days where you try to put on something nice, you know, like you want to wear high-waisted jeans and a crop top and you can't because you look like the penguin from Batman. So you get a little down on yourself for that. But um, overall, I don't mind the little thickness. You know, men like the little junk in your trunk. Um, so if you are, if you have gained some weight over this quarantine thing or you got in a relationship and you gained weight, then just be proud of that because at least you're not stressed out. But... You know what I mean. Okay. Now that we're nice and bronze, that's a really good bronzer. That That's like for show in my top 10. Like I would not live, I couldn't live without. And I will rebuy again. If for some reason I dropped off and didn't sell Pharmacy anymore, I will buy that bronzer. I, everything that I've mentioned in my top 10 is something I will always always use I don't see why I wouldn't okay now let's do another favorite of mine which is the peach palette we have several of these little palettes here that's got like bronzer highlight and blush this is my favorite it's the perfect bronzer shade whether you want to use it as a contour or just a bronze and I'm going to use it a little bit as a contour. So I've already bronzed my skin. Now I'm going to kind of sculpt my skin out a little bit further and give me a little more definition. So I'm going to mainly focus on if you don't know where exactly to put it. If you take your finger and you push right here, you can actually feel this bone and it'll dip in and you can kind of push up on it. That is where you need to place like if you're uh it's gonna you it's gonna everybody's got a different face shape so it's going to uh help enhance that the give you that dimension there where it needs to be and you don't want to go too far out here um it starts to look a little drag if you bring it in a little too far, unless you like that, by all means, go right ahead. You can also curve it up a little bit if you want yourself to look like you've got a little more cheek. If you give it a little bit of a curve. Um, but you see that little bit of a difference there just between... So this is just regularly bronzed. This is bronzed and contoured. 
and it's got a little cooler it's a little bit cooler of a kind of a more neutral to a cool tone bronzer as opposed to this one which is more warm so this warms up the skin this will sculpt or warm up the skin um now i'm going to enhance there is a the shape of my skull is you see this little bone that sticks out like right here i like to enhance that so or give it like a a dip there you see that how i did that just that little bit is so crazy i hope y'all can see what i see but you just make sure you blend that real good this also will help shrink in your forehead if you've got a large forehead you want to put bronzer around that perimeter of your head and it will actually shrink your forehead um but i just like that extra contour there just my personal preference and just however my face is shaped that's what i like to do it's like thinning me out you can even put a little here too to in depth um, give you a an, an smaller depth here and kind of almost like an eye lift a little bit back on my nose there where I was okay and that's all I'm doing that's all I'm gonna do you do want to make sure it's blended but I don't want to lose lose it okay um, now I'm gonna use the blush in here it's it is a like a matte mauve peachy kind of blush I guess um, it's not very very like bright and bold but um, I put it kind of on the apples of the cheeks and I make that face here or if you smile I like to enhance those and I basically it's very natural so um, I blend it kind of out I put the most pigment here and then I just kind of blended out into that bronzer and it's very very subtle I like more of a bronzy look than a blushy look so this gives me just a hint of blush so that I have some color on my cheeks and it looks as though I've got some blood flowing through my skin or through my you know blood flowing in my body or whatever I still look like an Amish lady. That's what Bradley said. I look like a little Amish, Amish lady. Now, I hope I'm not losing y'all. Let me know if I'm helpful. Hey, Erin. Now, let's go on to the highlighter shade. This is my favorite highlighter of all the collection that we have. And the whole, um, all the highlighters are super amazing. We even have a new highlighter palette out now. But um, of all the shades that we have, this is my favorite. So I'm just going to place it now on top of that bone here. And you could do it as much as you want. And I'm just kind of blending it and making sure it's not like this stripe. So I want it to kind of like blend. See what I mean there? And then we're going to go down the bridge of the nose just a hint here. This gives me, I like doing this because I look I look youthful and glowy when I have highlighter on. And sometimes I don't wear highlighter. I just like to keep that matte look. But if you like a nice glowy look, then I recommend highlighter. And you can even do your forehead if you want. I just, I don't really do a whole lot on my forehead. I just kind of go... Here, bridge of the nose, keep its bow in the chin because I'm trying to make that chin look more pronounced and prominent. But yeah, that's the peach palette. It's 20 bucks. So good for, um, it's very versatile as well. Like if you want to use it for eyeshadows, you can, or a beginner, if you need to know, if you just want to do like a contour 
highlight thing or you need a good bronzer and blush highlight combination instead of buying everything single singles that's really good um also for traveling and stuff like that and good for beginners good for younger kids or teenagers and good for um a, a, a for all ages it's like super pretty so um if you have darker skin though there is another one that's um it's called the three in one so it's similar it's just a darker colors so now we need to do some color under the eyes let's grab my Jaclyn Hill palette again and we're just gonna pick out let's just do I'm just gonna grab this like dark brown right here and I'm gonna use it on the lower lash line just to and you'll see why it's just something that I always do instead of using eyeliner underneath here I use eyeshadow and it really just brings it just pulls everything together and, and it just really makes my eyes stand out and it just instead of leaving it so blank under here you got a lot going on up here and then there's nothing under here this just like ties it all together if that makes sense i don't know really what word to use so i put it on with a little flat brush like that first and then I will take another brush and just kind of smudge that. This one had a little bit of red on it, which is fine, which actually might work well. Because it'll give that a little bit of that burgundy tone. I'll just blend it out. Now in the actual water line, I will put a black. These are so good as well. It's a black extra lash. I barely just flip down my lid. Barely apply pressure. I'll let my eyes chill for a minute because it always... You see the difference like I don't know what it is with eyeliner on the bottom for me it like just draws up my it just gives me that I don't know what it's called you see me tired no. I'm smart uh, what's it called when she smiles with her eyes smiles mm. that water is actually really good after the cinnamon and the um Honey and lemon just kind of settle for a little bit. It's like really good. It's an odd taste to get used to at first. I like it better cold, I think. To melt down that honey, though, I might need to pour in a hot glass first. That's girl so sun. Thank you, Haley. This is a really pretty look for... Like... Christmas, maybe, or just going out with the girls. I would definitely pop on some lashes with this look for, like, an outing, I guess. Special occasion. Oh, I have, like, this one little piece of black something, and I cannot get it off, and it's drawing nuts. Okay, last thing we need to do. Well, not the last thing. It's one of... Let's go ahead and line our lips out. I'm going to use brown. It's a, well, that's the eyebrow pencil. So the eyebrow pencils look the same as the lip line version. Yes. Okay. So this is like a brown kind of shade. We're going to use it on the lips. It's shade 227. And I'll just start on the bottom.
So I'm coloring in the outer edges here. Um, bringing that in. I always start here and go up. I've learned it's something I've learned uh, that if you draw your lip liner in an upward motion, it gives your it makes your lips appear plumper mm -hmm. than opposed to drawing them downward. And I don't know why. Is this 50 first dates? Mm -hmm. I thought so. I now I'm going to color in also on the outer edges here. So we're going to create like an ombre effect. Keeping the center kind of blank. And it don't have to be perfect. Now, I don't know if this is going to look right or not because I haven't done this yet. So, this is the shade Skin. This is very, very nude, okay? It's like a almost like a it looks like skin like it's very nude so it's going to take down some color from my lips and it's going to look a little odd so I'm hoping that this works well like I'm anticipating it to I want to color in everywhere that's blank Now I'm going to take my finger and just blend it. Even if it gets on the brown, it's fine. And if you want to take a gloss or something over that, you can if you don't like the matte look. But these are going to be, this is going to be really matte. I'm going to grab that lip liner one more time and just kind of And it might look better with a gloss over. I don't even have a gloss in here. Because it is dry. What I forgot to do was um, put on some more lip balm. The lip conditioner is good too. Before you put on a matte. Well, I'll put on a, a clear gloss over this. I think that'll look better. I just don't have any in here. What do y'all think? Let's see. But, oh, that, um... The, the liquid lipsticks is also one of my top 10 favorite. There's a large variety of shades. They stay on. They are really matte, but they don't, they don't dry your lips out. 
Um, but I do highly recommend also putting on that lip conditioner before in case you do have drier lips. And um, they stay on really well. Like they don't transfer and they're good to, um, like they'll last all day. But I really like the nude shades and the, um, the bright red. If you've seen that red lip that I had on the other day, that's like a really, really good red if you need a good red lash. Um, a good red lipstick in your life. Um, but they're only $11.90 full price. So I get them half that. And I used to spend like $20 on lipsticks. Like from Sephora and stuff. And I really love that these are so affordable. Everybody that I have known to uh, try these lipsticks, they really, really like it. So... Let me try putting on some of this. Because of my lips are so tinted, like, already, this shade is kind of odd on me. So I'm trying to blend it together. I'm using this Save the Lips on that inner... I've only wore this shade a couple of times like to use just as like ombre and that just made it separate a little bit well this doesn't look too bad mm. they were already Peeling. My lips peel all the time in the winter. Whatever. I'll fix it. Um, so I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about. We talked I told you all my my top ten favorites. We can start we can start from the top. So it was number one VFX foundation. The eyeliner. Um all the Calendula Skin Care. The um, Bi Face Makeup Remover, which is so, so good to remove any waterproof mascara eyeliner. Um, the Suncrisp Bronzer. It's one of my top 10. Optimal Style, top 10. Eyebrow Pencil, top 10. The Peach Palette. And is that all? Is that my top ten? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the liquid lipsticks, eight. What am I missing? There's eight. I had ten. Oh, the Face Perfecting Powder. That was one. And... I'm missing something. Maybe it was the concealer. I mean, the primer. Hold on. Because I had it written down. Let's go over this again. Sunkiss Bronzer by Face Makeup Remover Matte Liquid Lipsticks, VFX Foundation, Eyebrow Pencil, Face Perfecting Powder. Oh, well, we got that. The Mascara, Peach Bite Palette, the whole Calendula line. That's 10. Am I miscounting? <laughs> Hold on, this is going to drive me nuts. Okay. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I missing? The eyebrow pencil. Nine.
Space perfecting powder. Ten. Okay, I got it. I'm not tripping. There we go. No, the concealer wasn't in my top ten. I used it, but it wasn't in my top ten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's all, folks. So, I hope that you learned something and you enjoyed my love. I love this bronzer, y'all. I couldn't live without my bronzer. I don't know. You ever been asked that question, like, all any girls that are into makeup or skincare, if you had to be stranded on an island and you can only take one thing with you, like, what would it be? What would it be? That is so hard. I guess it wouldn't matter if you were staying on an island if you had makeup on, you know. But let's say that, I don't know, there was people there. <laughs> Lips. You would have, you would do like a lipstick. I would probably say either foundation or mascara. I, I feel foundation. like foundation. I feel like that would be my top one of these. Foundation. That's hard. If I had to do top five, that's easier. Because I would do primer. No. I would do foundation, powder, mascara. I would have to have some sort of cleanser and moisturizer. One, two, three. Because I would, I'd just go crazy if I couldn't clean my face. And if I couldn't moisturize. And I want to need my SBF for the island. I don't know, girl. Okay. I'm getting off here. Riley's about to be here. And I'm getting hungry. So, bye. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you, Loretta. You can do makeup this good. You just got to practice, girl. You got to start somewhere. I started somewhere. You just got to keep on keeping on and don't give up. Okay, bye, y'all. Peace out.